Hey guys, I just got in tonight and I just received my Ascar 103 APO refractor. And what I mean by just received is I just got home from work and this was sitting here in the parcel locker and I just brought it home, like just now. So I automatically just mic'd up and we're gonna unbox it tonight and see what it comes with and all its accessories. I'll probably be making a few videos on this, but we'll get into this a little bit later. All right, let's unbox it. <laughs> Here we go. You know what I should check is if I'm actually rolling right now on the camera, hold on. Okay, I was just making sure I press record because we only have one shot at this, right? Okay. It's a fairly big box and it is, it's definitely heavy. It's got a weight to it. Whew. All right. Here it is. And the box even has a picture of it on there too. That, I thought that was pretty cool. Pretty sure Taco is going to be playing in that box. Here's actually the box of accessories, but we're interested in this little guy here. So here is what this looks like. This is actually pretty big. Let me get a tape measure so I can measure this for y'all, just so you know how big it is. All right, so this case is about 26 inches by nine inches. And it is about nine and a half inches deep comes with a little shoulder strap. That's gonna be nice for sure. I plan to be using this case to transport it as well. I'm not sure if I'm gonna put an EAF on it or electronic focuser because it has to fit in this case. So I might be just using manual focus with this thing, but we'll see. got that new telescope smell. <laughs> All right, so we get a user's manual. And let's see here. An inspection checklist. And we have the refractor right here. It's uh, wrapped up pretty nice. And I like the case, the foam is very high quality. And of course it's cut out perfectly. The, this zipper here is really, really good quality on here. They, Ascar spent some time on this case. I really appreciate that. And let me see if I can take this out. It's hard to take out. <laughs> All right, here's the telescope. I'm gonna put this case down on the floor. I feel like we need a little extra height, right? Let's raise this up a little bit. Nice. Okay, I feel like we need some scissors for this one. carefully cutting this free. It's got these nice screws for the telescope rings. 
and they're it just feels nice i don't know how to explain it but it feels nice and this is supposed to be a budget telescope too so i'm really impressed so far <laughs> and excited too can you tell i mean this is awesome this is my first really big refractor so all right Okay, I'm going to put it back in the rings before I do something bad to this, okay? All right, right off the bat, I'm noticing this on the focuser. It's a nice little cover for it. And it's hard to remove, actually. Let's see here. Okay, pops off. And this comes with, this comes with two dovetail mounts here. And then we have a rail up here. This is probably where I'm gonna put my guide scope. I don't really have anything to put up here, but I can kind of see where maybe you'd put an ASI air on here probably. And this has a dual speed focuser as well. And turning it, it's pretty nice. I feel like it's probably the same quality as my Z73 focuser maybe. It's got a nice tension to it, I like it. I haven't had anything super high end, so I don't know what to compare it to, but this feels really good to me. And, oh, we got some indexing here too. Check this out. So we have indexing here, and then also for the rotator. This is really gonna come in handy actually, because I can rotate it, I can note the degrees my targets were at, and then I can just easily rotate it to there. That's nice. You hear taco? Let's go see what he's doing, hold on. Say hi to everybody since you're making all that noise, man. Yeah, look, we got a new telescope. What do you think? Hmm? As I was saying, we got some indexing here. So we have indexing for the rotation and also for the back focus here. He's got the zoomies right now. This is the worst time for you to have the zoomies, bro. Because we're filming a video. All right, as I was saying, again, we have some indexing on the back focus and also the rotator, which I think is really nice. And it has a visual back on here. And that looks like this. I don't know if you can see that there. There's the visual back. And I really like the fit and finish this thing too. I think this is a, I wanna say it's a gold. Maybe it's a orange gold and black. Whatever it is, it looks really nice. I love it. And we have some nice Ascar 103 APO on the side of it. It's a nice touch. And the telescope itself has a really nice feel to it. It's, it feels really high quality. Here's the objective lens. Comes with a little cap. And here is what we're caring about the most. This is the biggest refractor I've owned so far. So 100 millimeters. This is great because the weight on this should be perfect on my AM5. And it looks really, really cool. Nice thing about it too is it has a lock ring on the dew shield. I appreciate that because when you're doing flats, 
the last thing you want to do is have the dew shield creep down on you, right? So let's extend that real quick, see what that looks like. That looks really cool. And here's a close up on what the railing looks like on here. This is a beautiful instrument, by the way. So that looks like. Here is your focuser again. Maybe. It's got a nice movement to it. And here's the underside of the refractor. I gotta quit banging it around though. <laughs> yeah, this definitely, I'm gonna have to put a lock screw in this one for sure. Just a safety lock screw for the mount I plan to put in. And if you're wondering, it does have a lock for the focuser right here. I was wondering if it came with one or not and glad it did. And that's the refractor itself. We have another package though. So let's open up that. I feel pretty dangerous with this knife, man. This is a, my brother gave me this knife. It's great and everything, but <laughs> it's really sharp. Ooh, I got the flattener. And I also got a reducer, and this is the 0.6 reducer. So this reduces my native telescope focal ratio from f6.8 to 0.6, not to 0 0.6, 0 0.6 times. Uh, so that comes down to f4, which is pretty fast for a refractor. So one of the reasons why I chose the Ascar 103 because it was capable of fast photographic speeds. You know how much I like that, right? Let's open up the flattener. I have a feeling I'll be using it in, at f6.8 quite a bit just because of the aperture gain I have on the refractor itself and also the envelope of focus, right, is a lot bigger versus me shooting at f2. So I should be getting more resolution and detail at f4, but that's what we're going to find out. Has a user's manual. And protective foam over the top. And here's what it looks like all packaged up. Man, it's not even Christmas yet. It's what it, it kind of feels like, you know? We have like a month to Christmas. All right, and this is sealed up pretty good, so I'm gonna cut it free. All right, so here is the flattener. You can see it's very high quality. It's got a nice metal sound, right? And here is the flattener, what that looks like. This is also a very beautiful piece. It looks really cool. check out the reducer. I'm excited about this one, shooting at f4, for sure. Again, we got the user manual. More of the same, oh wait, here's what it looks like in there. This is nicely packaged, I, and I, that's something I appreciate too, because I keep the boxes for storage. It's just really nice to have the box. 
Whew. Wow, how cool is this? Check that out. It's got some nice writing on it. Again, feels really, really solid. Here's the front of that, and here's the back. And here's what the reducer looks like. And you can see the multi-coating on the surface. Looks pretty nice. And that's it. This is a really hefty piece here. I probably weighs maybe a pound, maybe two pounds. It's pretty, pretty hefty. I also plan to get the 0.8 times reducer, but it's not in stock right now. So as soon as it comes in stock, I'll definitely make a video on that. But that's it for the unboxing. Hope you enjoyed this one. Uh, It'll probably be a while before I have any videos on this because of the weather right now. But enjoy my scheduled content, right? I, I filmed all summer long, uh, so you would have something to watch during these cloudy months. So I'll try and get a video out on the 103 as soon as I can. We're going to start with the shooting with the field flattener at f6.8. We're going to see what that looks like. And then... The next video will be this 0.6 times flattener reducer. And hopefully if we can get the 0.8 in, I'll make a video on that. Well guys, I guess that's it for this one and I'll see you on the next. Peace. <laughs>